Yeah. Okay, so, oh, so, okay. so Master, I know he's been working on a cloud. So that's what I was thinking was coming out. But I guess he decided to go Bowser. Very interesting pick considering that Kanon actually used Cloud as one of his three characters along with Lucina in the mm. beginning of this game. So I feel like he's going to have a handle on how this character wants to play out. Yeah, for Massimar, right, I feel like his mission here is the offstage play that he can get against K9. He's able to use Flamethrower, read the landings, it's one of those things. Flamethrower and Nutra, decent move here, not that great. Tries to go for the up, out of shield. Whirling Fortress isn't as good as it used to be when it was out of shield compared to it was in Smash 4. Of course, if you guys are looking for more notable about it, Bowser mains, we do have Rafi and we do have Morbid Carnivorous. Don't know why he's changed his name, his name is Mago. But speaking of his name here, it's K9 his boost, gets that forward throw, puts himself in the ledge guard situation, but Massimar able to sneak his way back, gets the Bowser Bomb, and puts K9 towards the ledge a little bit more. Great play and turning things around. Yep, I mean, one of the ways that Bowser likes to play is just toughen up and just last so long against your opponent, and all of a sudden you blink, and then you're at a really high percent, so is your opponent, but that time around, ill-advised Bowser Bomb, Plenty of time for him to react. It was a bad position too, where he put it on the platform yeah. or near it too. So it does just gave time for K9 to really figure out where he wanted to go and how he's going to space that forward smash, take out the stock. Gets it back there immediately, like I talked about it earlier, right? That flamethrower able to put in numbers against uh, gets the Star Fox cast. So he's able to use it to its well avail here. Gets the Bowser Bomb, 171%. You will see yourself out. That's tomorrow right here, just trying to space himself towards the ledge. I do respect it. Especially when you're trying to avoid getting grabbed by Wolf, trying to avoid getting blasted. There's a lot of things you're trying to avoid from Wolf. So seeing yourself towards the ledge for safe play seems to be the work workaround for Master Mario. All right, there we go. Gets the dash attack into the up airs, but the spike actually comes in, able to get around that potential combo. Oh, the shield looking tiny. So he's got the ledge control one more time. Oof, a little bit too slow. He wanted to go for the up air. Sensing that K9 was going to go for an aerial option, that unorthodox Wolf fire, they're able to take the stock. And when I call it on Orthodox, it's definitely one of those plays you don't see because you're committing a lot on that situation, right? You're not only committing to fa possibly falling off the ledge, you're committing to the analog of that move. Yeah, but it's one of those things where it's a good choice to be able to catch all different tech options. He can notice that he missed a tech, that's why he decided to go for it. If it was a tech chase situation automatically, then maybe he would have caught iframes or something, but he missed a tech, that's why he wanted to go for it in that specific moment and then catch a tech option afterwards. Questionable dance dance from Asimara, not able to see himself find much of a reward, flamethrower yet again, but K9 able to sweet spot the ledge with the wolf fire, comes back with a cross up back air, and great mix up from the full hop, gets a down throw, tries to go in and get the full punishment from the down air, but instead, he gets punished for going a little too low. They pay the price for going so hard. Yeah, K9 kind of giving up that stock for free for Master Mario, but he's still keeping up the control, it's not letting that loss of a stock get to him, and he's still going for these edge guards too. Not quite able to find anything else, and I like that. Gives him a little bit of space, gives him that hope that he can make it back in, and tries to throw out that blaster to stuff him out in his approach back in the center stage, keep him back there. <laughs> Master Mario with a lot of hope, tries, tries to go for a grab, I'm sorry, jab. Pretty much boxing up at 140% here. K9, we are seeing him going for a lot of cross-ups. Gets a jab himself, putting Master Mario at the ledge, missing the grab. Master Mario gets the punishment here, and he almost connects to the up air. That would have been a great opportunity to get percent and put K9 on the back foot with all the neutral winnings he's getting here. All right, he's gonna be caught off stage one more time. Tries to go for the immediate Bowser side B. Not quite gonna work out there. Goes for it a second time, but Canine's ready for it. Didn't ex or expected the same mix up, mix up that time around. Missing the grab here, Canine still yet again looking for these double jump options, and he sees how Master Martin's gonna land. Goes for the quick up air, changing it around. I do really like the fact that one thing we're starting to see from Canine from last week implement a little bit more in this week. His, uh, his jump options, right? We see him go for full hop, short hop, cross-ups. I like those options that K9 definitely evaluates when it comes down to the neutral here. How do I want to get my percent of my opponent? How do I want to get him their shield? That's definitely a lot of the things that K9 likes to evaluate. He's still able to take game one over Master Mario. Let's go ahead and see how game two will play. Master Mario sticking in with the Bowser. Um, uh, you know, I can under I can respect the play here. He got kind of far in terms of last stop, but he didn't get the W here. We'll have to see how this goes down. I'm very interested to see how he's going to go forth in this match because, again, it looked like he was just trying to keep up survivability and then go for, you know, side B or some kind of easy kill confirm once his opponent's at a high percent and that he's gotten from stray hits. But well, he's got to make his way back from the ledge first because this is looking really difficult for K9 or, excuse me, for Master Mario to even try to start playing the game. And just like that, the forward smash does not have enough end lag and he's going to be able to get a second one, let it rip, and take out that stock. Zero to death coming out for K9. Nice, definitely holding the shield there, on the, especially on the platform. 
If you last Master Mario get an extension there, it could be pretty big for him. He's losing neutral. Master Mario almost gets that forward smash. Could have been it. All of the effort Canine definitely worked in. Could have gone to waste, but really Canine gets under the platform. Big punishment against Master Mario yet again. Master Mario committing to that down air. Just trying to avoid getting hit when he comes back on the stage. We talk about landing options here. Bowser not with the greatest of landing options on, in terms of the game. Yeah, but he's still able to mix it up. You know, he's got a Bowser Bomb and a Bowser Dare. And if you're, it prevents people from trying to go for juggles against you. Mm -hmm. Unless you're very confident like Canine is. You're able to catch them what they want to do in the air. One thing also that I noticed from K9 in general is that he's doing a good job of stuffing out where Bowser wants to be, which is in the air. He lost his grab combos that he did in Smash 4, but now he's got stuff like landing neutral air into fair, bear, and stuff like that. And he's got a yeah. rising short hop bear that if you buffer it correctly, then it will auto cancel. But it makes it really difficult for him to do that when K9 is controlling the air so well, pushing him and forcing him on the ground. Oh. Unfortunate foot so that's going to take out the next stock too. Nice, Mario having a difficult time against this wolf here. We'll talk about how that forward smash missed. It was just one fish short, and immediately K9 putting in the hurt. He puts Master Mario at the ledge here because he knows he's got nowhere else to go but to force him out here into the corner. Almost gets the read on the landing. You talked about it earlier, right? That downer definitely prevents you getting from juggled. From you getting uh, from you getting juggled. Yeah, landing fair one more time. He's got the flames coming out. Trying to figure out what he can do. Doesn't get the second of the dare. But clips him at the ledge one more time, and again, just landing with that bear. If you don't do the auto cancel, like I said before, it just leaves it open for like a free blaster, free damage for K9 here. Double roll, K9 looking for space at this situation here. Definitely respect it, doesn't want to be at the ledge. You give Master Mario the stock that he's been, been holding on to. Tries to go for a spot dodge, but one thing you have to always worry about Bowser here, and the one thing I do see Master Mario implement here is the up out of shield, the rolling fortress. Pretty good option here for him to cover K9's rolls, and for K9 to definitely understand the back air and cover Master Mario's options. What did I tell song. you? He tried to go in the air again, stuffed him out with the 